Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to learn about contractions. In English, to contract means to make something smaller. A contraction is something that has been made smaller. We use contractions when we want to shorten what we say or write. Contractions are often used in spoken English, but they are also used sometimes in written English. For example, I can say, all right, she is tall. I can also say, she's tall. Here is another example. Instead of saying, I am going home now, I can say, I'm going home now. And another. They have three cats at home. Can be shortened to, they've three cats at home. These contractions are used with to be and to have. The apostrophe is used to show that some letters are missing. Will and would could be contracted after a pronoun. For example, we will come tomorrow becomes will come tomorrow. And you would like my friend can be shortened to you'd like my friend. But be sure to pronounce the d or it will sound like you like my friend? In spoken English and informal written English, not is often contracted. Here are some examples. Instead of saying, I do not play football, you would usually say, I don't play football. They will not want to come. Maybe shortened to, they won't want to come. Notice the change from will not to won't. Let's look at this sentence. We have not been fishing. Have not can be contracted to haven't. So the sentence becomes, we haven't been fishing. Not can also be contracted with many other verbs. Here are some examples. You must not do that. Sounds less fierce if you say, you mustn't do that. I cannot come tonight. Is friendlier if you say, I can't come tonight. Notice that cannot loses one N as well as the O, but we don't use an extra apostrophe. A difficult child won't say, I shall not, but instead will say, I shan't. Again, notice that more letters are left out, but only one apostrophe is needed. Sometimes there can be two ways to contract, as in the following two examples. It is not difficult can be contracted to, it's not difficult, or it isn't difficult. We can replace, I have not had time, with either, I've not had time, or I haven't had time. But we can't do both contractions at the same time. We must choose one or the other. Let's look at a few examples of contractions. You should not buy that fruit is contracted to, you shouldn't buy that fruit. Let us go quickly will usually be shortened to, let's go quickly. Notice that is and has contract in the same way. The verb will usually tell you whether is or has has been contracted. Let's look at these two sentences. My sister is clever becomes my sister's clever. And my sister has got a fever becomes my sister's got a fever. The sentence Yana will win tomorrow may be shortened to Yana will win tomorrow. Questions can be contracted too. Sometimes they need a change of word order. For example, why did you not do it? It's rather formal and we would usually ask, why didn't you do it? Similarly, could she not do it? Would usually be contracted to, couldn't she do it? Here's a mixed collection to show some of the variations that are possible. Ishak's quite sure he'll go, but his brother's not. Ishak's quite sure he'll go, but his brother isn't. Ishak's not sure he'll go, but his brother is. Note that we can't end the sentence with brothers. Ishak isn't sure he'll go, but his brother's sure he will. Similarly, 
We cannot end this sentence with heal. In the last two sentences, we have to use the full expression at the end of the sentence. Here is a list of the shortened forms you can use with not, aren't, can't, couldn't, didn't, don't, doesn't, hadn't, hasn't, haven't, isn't, mightn't, mustn't, oughtn't, shan't, shouldn't, wasn't, weren't, won't, wouldn't. A common mistake is to confuse its with an apostrophe and its without one. The problem is that they sound the same. Don't write, it's time to go home, without an apostrophe. What you should write is, it's time to go home, with an apostrophe. Meaning, it is time to go home. It's without an apostrophe is used to indicate possession. For example, the dog ate its food. And that's all for this lesson. Bye.